north! The king of the north! Yo, as always, like, share, subscribe. Now let's just get into it. So Michigan will play Iowa in the Big Ten Championship. Uh, I believe it's on Fox at 8 o'clock on Saturday. Yeah, another night game. <sighs> but, uh, you know, the thing about Iowa, and I know most people are like, well, we just going to blow out Iowa. And that's probably true. But, um but um, the thing about Iowa is, and I respect Iowa because they're Kirk Ferentz has them well coached, and they packing that defense, they packing that defensive hard hat, and they will come hit you in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? So I I got nothing but respect for Iowa. You know they're gonna bring that hard hat. So the the thing about Iowa playing Iowa in their defense is. They're in they're in cover four quarters most of the time or quarter shell. So the thing about them is they rely, they don't get that many turnovers this year. Normally they have more turnovers. Their defense causes more turnovers. This year they just playing good defense. They ain't really getting the turnovers, but they just playing lights out defense. So you know what I'm saying. But the thing about them is they go off tendencies. Like uh, if you got a a back, the depth of your quarterback, the depth of your running back, so they go off your tendencies, and then they'll switch to a defense off of off of what you're showing them your your normal tendencies. You know what I'm saying? So, but the thing about I was uh, defense to exploit them, it's just about being patient. That's that's really all it's about is being patient. And Michigan has a patient offense, so it's it's not about it's not a. You have to take what they give you. Not trying to force big plays. Not trying to force force it to the uh, force a deep post. Not trying to force a goal route or something like that. And they'll eat it up. You have to just basically dink and dunk and take what they give you. Whether that's a, a little out route, a little hitch, you know what I'm saying, a little comeback route those small plays to matriculate down the field pretty much how michigan does anyway you know what i'm saying so it's just about staying patient and not letting them not giving them anything to live off of because their offense isn't good so you don't want to give them any turnovers or a pick six or a fumble scoop and score or anything to give them life you know what i'm saying uh they're because their offense is just it's just not good you know what i'm saying like Let's see. Their quarterback, of course, they had Cade McNamara and uh, Eric Hall, Eric All. They're both hurt. Uh, their quarterback now is Deacon Hill. He's forty eight percent on the year. That's horrible. Like, that's. I mean, what can I say? He's averaging. <laughs> this is this is crazy. <laughs> this this is wild. He's averaging 88 yards a game. Yeah. He's got five TDs and six picks. And he's been sacked 16 times. So we should be able to get, get after their quarterback. Their tackles, me watching some of their, their tackles don't seem to be that good. Um, and their leading rusher is LaShawn Williams. So as far as... And he's got 779 yards. And the backup has 415 yards. So the, the, the thing about uh, going against them that on defense, you just want to you just want to play good, sound defense. Don't make any mistakes. Don't fall down or something and give these guys a touchdown and give them life. Because you definitely you want to get up early. And demoralize that defense. You don't want you don't want to be you don't want to be in a grudge match with these dudes, and they're getting off the field. They're getting you off the field. They probably can't score, and you're both going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? They're just gonna build life because they're used to playing in fourteen to ten. You know, seven to seven to five. 
they're used to playing in these low scoring grudge match games. Like they're just used to it. You know what I'm saying? Where their defense just wins them a game. So on defense, you just want to play fundamentally sound. Don't make don't make any mistakes and wreak havoc on their quarterback in their uh, in their running game. Don't give them anything. You know what I'm saying? Michigan should try to come out and shut Iowa out. On, honestly, on defense. You know what I'm saying? You should be trying to create havoc. But uh, also in this one, normally I don't even really touch on this, but you also got to be. You also, we also have to be uh, watch out for their punt returner, Cooper DeGene. He's a DB, but he returns punts and he's a beast. So you may want to kick away from this dude because we don't need any free, any big time plays by Cooper DeGene returning a punt or something and giving this team life. We want to, we want to demoralize Iowa from the jump and make their defense lose hope. You know what I'm saying? The longer the game stays close, their defense, we, it's on us. Let's keep us in it. But if, if all of a sudden we up 17 nothing, the defense is going to be like, all right, man, y'all <laughs> y'all ain't helping us, man. I'm, all right, yeah, we, we on the field a long time. Y'all ain't helping, and, man. Come on. So, that's what we want, to demoralize their their hard hat, lunch pail, we bringing it defense, demoralize it by being patient and getting in that end zone and giving them nothing on and giving them nothing on offense so the defense is just frustrated. And also not giving Cooper DeGene not letting him spark the defense. You know what I'm saying? He's a defensive player. He going to spark the defense on a punt return or something like that. I'd kick it away from this dude just to make sure. But, you know, our punter, he's he's a pretty good punter. So, you know, we'll see what they do. But just know Cooper DeGene, he's nice. You know what I'm saying? He's nice. So, Michigan should be able to handle Iowa as long as they're patient and not trying to force it down the field and not trying to force things. They should just slowly be able to creep away from Iowa or – it could happen fast, but either way, get up, get out of this game healthy, and let's rest for the playoff, and let's get it. You know what I'm saying? We don't need any injuries. We want Blake in the playoff healthy for once. You know what I'm saying? Get J.J. back healthy. You know, rest everybody up. I didn't see any injuries right now. Rest everybody up. Well, we know Will Johnson is somewhat dinged. He probably won't play. Get him healthy, you know what I'm saying? Get all these guys that are dinged up healthy and also get some of these young guys up to where they should be and maybe they can contribute in the in the playoff also, you know what I'm saying? Amari and Walker and some of these other guys because you got a month to prepare. So this one's just get up, get up early, get out of there healthy, and let's get ready for this playoff, you know what I'm saying? So that's all I really got for this one, y'all. I know everybody's expecting us to just blow Iowa out, and we should, but they bring in that hard hat, that, uh, a defensive team that flies around and is nasty like they are. They give you a chance. You know what I'm saying? It's just their offense is just so abysmal. It's it's ama it's a it's honestly amazing that they're they're 11 and two. Like it's amazing that they're that they're 10 and two. It honestly is. This is a this is a heck of a coaching job. <laughs> this is a this is amazing. I just gotta look at this. They lost to Minnesota twelve to ten, and they lost to Penn State thirty one to zero. Like this is just wild. Looking at some of their scores, they beat Michigan State twenty six to sixteen, beat Purdue twenty to fourteen, beat Wisconsin fifteen to six. Beat Northwestern 10-7. Beat Rutgers 22-0. Skunked Rutgers. Beat Illinois 15-13. This is crazy. Beat Nebraska 13-10. This <laughs> That defense is bringing this hard hat, and they is doing some work. Boy. So, 
Shout out to Iowa. That's that's a that's a heck of a coaching job to get that team with that abysmal offense, you know, with Cade being out and still getting to ten and two. That's that's crazy. But we should be able to handle them. Just be patient. Don't try to force anything and we'll wear out that defense and we'll get out of there with the dub. Hopefully we can get out of there early so we can get those young guys in and get our starters and our key contributors out of the game. And let's get ready for this playoff. But that's all I got for this one, y'all. This ain't no long one. So like, share, subscribe. And as always, go Blue.